what is going on everybody my name is Killer Mike Steele and welcome back to another video now in today's video guys I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about where all of the 10 candy charm locations and how to activate them in Rave in the Redwoods now there is two locations for each charm the first one is the pink pacifier and it can either be located at the Bear Lake right against that sandbank or it can be located at the Camp Owl between the lockers and the sink close to the racing shops perk now once you pick that up then guys all you want to do is head over to the mess hall and to know where to put the charms just turn on the rave mode and you'll notice it by a bright blue glowing light as you can see here it isn't necessary to have rave mode on when placing down the charms but if you want to do it anyway you can now once you place down this charm then guys what will happen is all of the doors will lock you won't be able to get out of this area until you've killed a minimal of 15 zombies and once you've done that then guys it will allow you to leave now once you've actually done that you just want to head back over to the charm you want to pick up the charm and it's going to give you a special ability and I will go over the special abilities at a later date. It will also talk a little bit about free audio logs on the back log of Willa Wyler. Now moving on to the second one which is the mask charm and the first location is going to be at the venture course opposite the bomb stockers perk right up here past these tires in this corner. Now the second location is going to be near the boathouse and it's going to be right on the second step of this deck right there. Now once you've got that in guys you want to head back over to the mess hall and you're going to see an empty frame and you just want to place it on that empty frame and you're going to see some keys to the right and you just want to shoot those keys in order to pick up that charm and listen to more backlog. Now the third charm is the frog and it can only be located at the bear lake inside this bait and tackle shop on the green chair or it could be located at the recreational area in this camper truck on the corner of its end right here now once you got that guys you can take it down to the mess hall and you can do a right from the mess hall open up this door and go down into the swamp area and if you follow this around all the way till you get to that tunnel in the distance just turn left before the tunnel and on the ground there's going to be a little bankment and you can place the frog there now to activate this frog what you need to do is go into rave mode and to get into rave mode you're going to have to get a pouch from a zombie drop and then you want to head over to this area where this fire is and you just want to activate that. You will see about six green frogs pixelated bouncing around down there and all you want to do is come to this top area on this ledge. You're just going to jump and as you're falling you want to melee down and you want to kill and smash all of those six and then you can come back and then pick up your frog charm and that's going to give you that special ability now moving on to the fish charm that can all be located at the caverns at the back of this bathroom dome right in the corner here or it can be located at the drain sewage area where you've just been where you place down the frog right in the middle of this drain pipe here then once you've got that you can take it down to the boathouse just come along the deck carry on all the way till you get to the corner and you can place it down in this corner to activate it all you need to do is look up and you're going to see some blue smoke and you just want to throw or toss a grenade over there it's going to blow up and then you're going to be able to pick up that charm and give you that special ability another charm that you can pick up guys is a pair of boots now the first location is at the bear lake near the canoe boat stack next to this garbage bin in the corner here now the second location is at the thunderbird amphitheater near the fire in this corner right here now once you pick this up guys you can go back to the cabins and there is going to be one cabin with bunk beds place it next to the sleeping bag on the floor and you will see these red footprints start to walk towards the window now you just want to stay right behind them that's what triggers them and you want to keep moving forward until you get to the window what you're going to do then is you're going to wait and you're going to see the slasher walk by as you can see in a second Now once he walks by then guys, all you want to do is head back to the spawning area right at the front entrance, right next to the lost and found. You're going to see the footprints again. You want to stay behind them. You're going to walk towards this window and then you're going to see the slasher again walk by. And then from there then guys, you want to head over to the boathouse deck and you want to wait here, walk behind these red footprints and you're going to go all the way around until you get to the next window this takes a little bit longer just watch out for zombies i had to do to watch out for zombies in this uh, video because there was a load of zombies around and when you're doing it solo it's quite tricky to do especially and keep one zombie so once it goes all the way to the window you'll then see the slasher again at the window 
it will go past. And then all you want to do then is head back over to the cabins where the sleeping bag was and then you can activate that, inspect that item and then you'll get your special ability. Another charm that you guys can get is some binoculars. The first location is going to be, if you come from the mess or on the way to the lakes, it's going to be on this garden bench here. And the second location is going to be at the back of the DJ rave area, right at the back of these boxes in this corner here. Now once you've got that guys, you can take it down to the bear lake, open up this gate here or this door at 12.50. You will be inside the bait and tackle shop and if you come to the other end you'll notice another garden bench and you just want to place it down on that. From there then guys you want to get yourself a KBS sniper. This has to be a sniper, you can't, you can't use any other gun but a sniper and then you just want to look up at where Turtle Island is and you're going to notice there's going to be a couple of eyeballs. Now there's eight in total, about four of them on the island, there's a couple over to the right here. Uh, there's one above this garden bench here and then there's a couple more there's one over at the boathouse and once you got all eight then guys all you need to do then is get about 15 zombies and you need to shoot them in the head from this gazebo area the best way to do this is to get them to go over to the boathouse and once you get them over to the boathouse they'll quickly run over to the gazebo area and then like i've done here and then all the zombies will be running towards you from that area and you can just shoot them and get your headshots just like that and once you've done that then guys all you need to do then is go back to the garden bench and pick up your charm and it will give you that special ability and you'll hear more audio log from uh willa Wyler. another charm that you guys can get is an arrowhead now the first location is at the front of the Bear Lodge entrance, right against this guy that next to that light there on the floor. The second location is underneath the Bear Lake Mess Horse sign right in this corner here. Now once you've got that guys, you can take it down to the archery area, put it on this area here, and then you just need to go into rave mode guys. And the closest fire pit is down at the DJ speaker area right on the dance floor, and you can just activate the rave mode from this fire pit run as fast as you can back to the archery area listen to some fairies on the way so you stay in rave mode for longer and once you get over there then guys you're going to see a target practice area where the hay area is and then you're going to make sure that you get yourself an automatic gun and you want to shoot all of these targets and you do not want to miss if you miss it will start again and you've got to redo it just to keep in mind guys that it does take about a second for each target to disappear so you've got to be really really fast you can do it with your teammates or you can do it solo i did it solo and there is one tricky one right next to that tree to the right once you got done guys then you can go over and pick up your arrowhead charm and you'll get your special ability another charm that you guys can pick up is a shovel the first location is next to the bang bangs perk machine in the mine, right in the corner area there the second location is next to the archery where you've just been to the right of here right against this garbage bin next to the tires now once you got that guys you can take it down to the mess hall area down into the swamp bankment come around here you're going to notice a grave you want to hold square or x on that grave and what's going to happen is guys about six skeletons are going to come from the ground they're going to rise and what you want to do is you want to kill all six of them they're probably a level 12 difficulty so just make sure guys that you got yourself some pack a punch guns and you'll be fine and once you got that guys all you're going to do you come back and then you want to pick up your shovel charm and then you'll get your special ability the next one guys is a pair of rings now the first location is on the way to the mess hall from the bear lodge and it's going to be on this step right next to the sign now the second location is in the mines up these stairs right next to the bang bangs perk machine on those steps right there now once you've got that guys you can take it down to the spawning area in the bear lodge you're going to see a tv and a table place it on that table and once you place it down guys you'll see two lanterns both lit you just want to turn them around until the light is shining onto the rings so that's one there make sure you keep a watch from zombies and then you just want to turn this one around until it is on the ring and then you'll notice the rings will then just light up or glub and then you can go over and pick that up and activate that special ability now the last charm that you guys can get is the eight ball now the first location for the eight ball is either going to be at the recreational area next to the dj speakers right next to this market stand on the floor now the second location is going to be at the mines opposite the recreational area sign next to that railing right there 
And once you've got that in guys, you can take it to the bare large building, go up these stairs, you'll see a pool table, right next to the Ghost and Scores 2 machine, and all you want to do is place it down on the table and shoot or demolish the three white balls on the table to pick up that charm. Now once you know that guys, you will hear a more story about the bat log of Willa Wyler. You'll get your special ability. And I just want to say, this video took me such a very long time to make. So for being late on this one. But I hope this is helpful and it's been your boy, Shadow Mates D. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye bye.